Ooh, have a fancy, fancy sponsor stream on the 17th. That's two days from now. Cool. Cool. This act isn't very good. I'd like to go through here. There's slime boss at the end of it too. This is very much an act that Silent can die in. I could go this way. The problem is I get almost nothing from the act and then slime boss is at the end of it, so I think I have to try a little bit harder than that. I'm trying to high roll the boss relic. Alright, Runic Dome isn't too large a drawback. The start of Act 1. I have to hope that I can kill an elite off of this store. I should be able to. Fear potions, nice. Crippling Cloud, Terror, and Riddle with Holes. I could see myself taking Terror over Crippling Cloud here if I didn't have the Vulnerable Potion already. But I think I just take Crippling Cloud given that I do. Squish! This is Endless Agony Fire Potion every time. There's a lot of other strong stuff in this store, but we don't get to take it. We have to take the stuff that beats the Elite. If I'm lucky, I can hold on to the Fire Pot until... the Slime Boss fight, even. Is it Quick Slash over Endless Agony? Might be Quick Slash over Endless Agony because I have a fourth energy. Makes sense to me. It works a good time, a uh, good card, but it does not kill Gremlin Knob. Always attacked this turn. This is tricky. There aren't that many strikes I can have. I can go strike, strike, quick slash, and try to draw another strike and kill. But I can also instead just go crippling cloud defend. Which might I take four damage, which isn't the worst thing in the world. But then I have to play Quick Slash first. And if I hit Strike, I get to do that stuff, but usually I don't. Jay, thanks for the three months. You poisoned Stab as well. For a backflip. This deck's getting offered a lot of sweet stuff, but it needs to get its damage going before I can really take cards like backflip and blur, I think. So I think this is just poison stab. Dagger throw, deflect, and cloak and dagger. I'll take one dagger throw. Okay, let's do it.
The site probably takes my fire potion. Can I maybe use vulnerable potion instead? has a way to go. I can take a lot of damage in this fight still. I feel like I actually got pretty lucky in this one. Used the fire potion well, got a swift potion back, got a well laid plans, and a piercing whale. Piercing whale is worse with runic dome. Let me tell you, still pretty good. Definitely worse with runic dome. I don't have much that works with Wally plans yet, but it's reasonable to expect myself to get some things. Even in this act, it's pretty reasonable. And it's hard for me to take Runic Pyramid because of uh, Runic Dome, so I think I take him. Nasty not level links to the five months. This is a tough fight to get. One path to water is thanks for the three months. Can I deal 30 here? I'm one damage short, huh? So if I hit neutralize, I get it. 27 plus... Wait. No, I just have it. 8 plus... Oh, never mind. I was just doing the math wrong. Did I keep the potions? I think I took 8 there. Okay. This is close between Defend, Defend, Strike, and Wraith Form Strike.
Did I not even consider a Wraith Form Defend? I've just gone Wraith Form Defend. I guess I don't know that I'm drawing Crippling Clard the next turn. Crippling Clard? Everyone's <laughs> Saz Jin. Hey. Language is too difficult, I'm sorry. Thanks for the four months. Deck needs a Bane, I think, to get through Slime Boss. I have this pretty good looking Wraith form. But other than that, we're still struggling a bit. I definitely don't always trade Silence Boss Relic, whereas I feel like I almost always trade everybody else's. Um... Why is that? I think it's because Silent has some trouble saturating four energy. Maybe. I don't know. Should have just started turn one. Space Relic is definitely a pretty good late game, yeah. Drawing cards is good. I'm not seeing dropped frames on my end. Maybe try refreshing the stream or... I don't know. Something like that. The acrobatics is cool, but the after image I think is better. After image is really nice with Wraith Form too. It stops us from taking a bunch of chip damage. Cunning Potion with Flex Potion seems like a good split on Slime Boss. Am I planning to use all of my potions to beat Slime Boss? Probably. I have no damage. Holy Fight versus Question Mark next is interesting. We're in the second half of Act 1, so the good events are turned on. This is probably... slightly better. Twenty-nine, forty-nine, plus eighteen. So I'm wasting this rest a little bit if I rest here. On the other hand, if I don't rest here, I feel a little bit spooked by this fight. The fact that I have no card draw and no strike removes makes me worried about next act. And like now, honestly, it makes me worried about now too. And I also have no extra two cards on turn one. Maybe I needed to take that backflip over whatever it was. It was a damage card, though. I don't have damage either. Tricky spot. Tricky spot. I 
And with 57 health, I do the math wrong. Maybe I did some rounding wrong. I've played well laid plans. I don't need to block for 19 here. What are you doing to me? This was the big plan. Well done. I played this fight atrociously though. So bad. Oh. One piercing whale. I think I will typically be able to benefit from having a piercing whale on my deck. And let's rest for 32. Yeah, 33. Definitely takes me to 57. And let's hope that we get a good split against Slime Boss somehow. No fumes or. Yeah, with very little, basically. There's a well laid plans and two decent potions. Ninety two goes to eighty seven. Goes to 81, goes to 78. I could just split this turn using both potions. I can hope that next turn will be better, but it's not clear that it will. It'll be 33, 38, 49, 60, 74. Pretty good split. Gives us some 18 HP slimes to kill. Both of the potions are dealing 30 damage. 30 plus damage. All I have to do to save a potion is hit Bane though. I even try to play Wraithform yet. My damage is, shall we say, lacking.
I'm gonna call this probably good from here. We did look for neutralize. Okay. There's a die die die. It's not scaling damage, but it's a thing that we need, I think. And Venom's actually pretty good. And Venom works a little bit better with Wraith Form than Die 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 does. Last Knife is so good, is it? Like a worse version of what Die 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 does. Hey, Bezzy or hey, Billy. I would be taking in Venom largely because of the interaction with Bane. They're just better scaling damage than that, right? Let's take the die 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 for front loading. I think this is Sneko Eye because we need the card draw. And Sneko Eye with a fourth energy is nice, and the Wraith form is sort of nice, and the Crippling Cloud is nice. So, this run gets a little bit weird because we don't have Runic Dome. Well, we don't have Intense, we do have Runic Dome. And we no longer have control over how much our cards cost. I do think that makes decisions a little bit easier because, like, we just play the cards that cost zero and don't play the cards that cost three most of the time. Give Runic Dome to Noloth. Uh, I do not intend to. This one's always buffing, isn't it? Doesn't matter. Maybe it did matter. Maybe I could have left on Chaku on 9. I'll take an Acrobatics Plus with a Sneko Eye and 4 energy at the moment. Question mark or Holly fight first? I'm leaning toward question mark. Why? My brain's stuck on the, like, potion seller, where I don't want to have a potion in my potion belt when I get potion seller event. Yeah, deck. Remove a card and upgrade your random card. I don't think any of my upgrades are specifically required right now. Actually, like all of my upgrades are pretty mediocre, other than maybe well laid plans. So I think paying 60 for the removal over upgrading a card and getting a random card upgrade is what we're gonna do. And that did make us significantly stronger before the hallway fight, so that's good.
My damage might actually be too slow here. Bane plus. Who's Bane? Do I play Strike? Costs me an energy next to Oh, I get to play both strikes. Cool. That's fine then. Got a fear potion. I'm being offered a deadly poison. It's actually sort of hard to say no to that. <laughs> I feel like the fact that I'm taking that uh, implies some pretty crazy things about what I'd do for noxious fumes at the moment. Monster like for a tiny house. Tiny house is like not even that bad. It's an okay start. Not incredible. Just give it back its eye. I suspect the eye is from a different Snacko. Maybe one of its friends. A loved one. I seen Sneko's other eye. Oh, it only has one. The other side of Sneko's head is just uh completely completely devoid of features. A tick skewer plus, like instantly. Take the unupgraded one too, how about that? <laughs> Just trying to get this deck to a point where it does any form of damage. Hey, Dabber Cadaver, thanks for the three gifted subs. Hope you're doing well today. Appreciate it. Excited to see what's cooked up in D&D next week after Cadaver has been DMing some games for me and some friends. Hey, so thanks for the 33 months. Not the best turn. Oh, nice. That's lucky. That's not. Quick slash got us there. And now I get to play Wraith form. Okay, so I feel like the potion justified itself. Saved quite a lot of health in the end. Look at this sneaky strike damage number. Insane. We take Bouncing Flask though. 
Hey, Pride! <laughs> I got you, Pride. We're asking a lot of Wraith form at the moment. So nine months. Ouch. Guess strong. This turn's pretty bad that Cribbling Cloud needed to cost less. That's interesting. Ooh, with Piercing Whale, it doesn't matter, right? It's either 11 times 3 or nothing that I'm being attacked for now. Get that down to 5 times 3. I guess it sort of does matter. 5 times 3 is still a lot. Maybe this is just enough damage that we Wraith form now. I would prefer not to take three damage here. Ow. So rude. So rude. Could Gremlin Leader even see me? I was a ghost. Dead to branch? Hello? I haven't been offered dead branch in such a long time. Right now I have one, two, three, four. Four cards that interact with it. I don't really plan to have a ton of shivs in the deck, so we take it. Dead branch is probably not something that we're so excited about that we're trying to build into it with a Sneko Eye. If I didn't have a Sneko Eye, it might be, but I don't think I'm taking a Blade Dance here. The powers I get for the rest of the run are upgraded. Powers like Accuracy. Oh yeah. Chemical X or Pantograph, both pretty good. I think Chem X because it helps my damage. The Smash Joe links to the Prime. I do not want to generate three cards with a Blade Dance. I think we went over this already. It would be like prettier to use this potion somewhere else, but I think I'm meant to use it here. <laughs> I 
deals a 9 damage per turn for a while. Corruption is an ironclad only card, that is correct. Ironclad is the class about exhausting things. This is a little bit awkward if I get entangled. Still fine though. to attacks to play attacks to push nunchaku forward i should have played those in the other order to push nunchaku forward look it's a tough game all right i'm gonna take a thousand cuts plus i think it's just barely exciting enough with no potion here i do want the elite fight but i think i'm going to rest before it there's no potion what about Skewer Upgrade? I'll try Skewer Upgrade instead. Melvin. Things are happening. Junk money, he carved us. Singing bowl. We take eviscerate, it hits somewhat hard. I think plus two XHP is pretty good though. Also take calculated gamble. Yeah, our damage got much, much, much better for sure. A little bit of a mishmash, but much better. Is it enough to beat Champ, though? I wonder if I need a Terror for the Champ fight. The problem with the champ fight is actually blocking, not damage. Which means I probably have to like super power through it, which means I probably do need the terror. 
And then I'm going to go for the well-laid plans upgrade at this point. I don't even know if I'm being attacked or not. Nice terror idiot. Ooh, works nice. Hopefully not getting attacked for too much if I am getting attacked here. Okay. Don't love to see defensive stance, but... Uh, that's an okay turn for it. Shot futile weakly. Storm's coming. weak next turn. I'm gonna reshuffle though. This is a win. Three turns of intangible, so I can leave none at Chaku on mine as well. Wait. Oh my god. My brain is so fried today. This is insane. <laughs> this is insane. Oh, my brain just doesn't work at the moment. Nightmare. Might not matter much that my brain doesn't work. I have Nightmare and Wraith Form Plus. This is definitely either Choker or Astrolabe. For sure. Definitely one of those two. I think probably just Choker. Five energy is significantly more than four when you're thinking about stuff like being able to play a Nightmare and a Wraith form in the same turn. I ever thought about doing a stream where I play Go? I have never played Go in my life. So I would say that I probably haven't thought much about Go in general in any way.
No! If I hadn't had Choker, I could have played Grand Finale there. Kappa. excited are we all to see how good I am at drawing Nightmare and Wraith form in the same hand? Do I take a second well-laid plans because I have Nightmare and Wraith form? It feels like maybe. It feels not unreasonable. I need like one intangible potion or something. Joker, why do you do this? Joker has betrayed us again. You have betrayed me for the last time, Jinxed Choker. Oh, it's called Velvet Choker. Jinxed Choker was a card that saw play in the constructed format of Magic the Gathering that I played the most in my life. And so it now like possesses a spot in my brain and will forever. Another piercing whale. Okay, but what about if I just have Wraith Form and After Image instead? Eh? I think we just need health. It's tricky. It's a tricky choice. It does kill artifact charges in useful ways, and it does help to keep me alive until I hit rate form and nightmare. And I believe we're of the opinion that if we hit rate form nightmare, we win. Awakened one might be an interesting fight in that situation because we might not actually have enough damage with 12 turns of intangible. Probably with skewer chemex we do. I don't know. Optimal ironclad speedrun. I have no idea. Presumably you click on whirlwind and everything dies though. But I have never made any attempt to speedrun Ironclad in my life, so it's not something I know a lot about. Have I made an attempt to speedrun anything in my life? Yes. I hold the speedrun world record time for XCOM 2 Legend Iron Man. War of the Chosen. that on YouTube? Yep. There are three of them. I eventually got it slightly below eight and a half hours, I believe. Any percent War of the Chosen. Any percent War of the Chosen. Why do you think any percent is Legend Iron Man? 
Also, any percent is only eight hours. Like, I did slightly under eight and a half hours in Legend Iron Man. No save abuse. Oh, four hours with no save abuse. I was probably using some other sort of bug, though. Anyway, there are bugs that you can use to beat the game much faster than I did. I played it without using those bugs, though. That's true, I do hold the Jorbs percent speedrun record for Celeste. Although I'm not sure that's quite as impressive. Is it not submitted to speedrun.com? Of course not. <laughs> Why would I? <laughs> Absolutely not. How would I waste my time submitting it to some random site on the internet? Didn't go great. Um, another bouncing flask seems conceptually cool, but I don't think I actually need it. And backflip is hard to play because if I draw a wraith form, but it costs too much, I've just like killed myself. Mummified hand seems insane. One, two, three, four, five. Footwork Plus also seems insane. Card Remove seems pretty good. But I think Mummified Hand is the thing that we pick here. We can now play six cards even faster. Yes, exactly. Pretty sure die 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 goes. That much health, it's just way too much health. Going from 64 max to 74 max. I figure if I walk into the heart fight with 90 health, there's no way I lose. Anything below that, I could imagine a universe where I lost. Choker is a bit gross this turn. Wow, we like missed everything. Okay.
Can I kill Reptomancer this turn? I'm weak. Guess I can. How strong would Living Branch be in this game? Probably pretty strong. I like Lizard Tail. I, uh. <laughs> that one's good. That one's a good pickup. Do I recall now, or do I have a relevant upgrade? I do not have a relevant upgrade. Let's get the recall in so that if I'm offered something like a catalyst, I can upgrade it. Observe how shit my deck is when it doesn't have a uh, Wraith Form in play. On the bright side, I'm not taking a bunch of damage. I'm mostly just getting lucky about not getting the big attack, though. Burn Dan! Thanks for three months! Appreciate it. have mercy once more. Damn. Skewer would have just killed this turn. Awkward if true. Probably, hopefully, not gonna matter though. We wait so that Nunchaku is on nine next fight. Is this where we play neutralize? I see you've been paying attention. Strawberry's cool. Dash plus. I don't hate it. A little bit late in the run for a dash plus, but I don't hate it. Hmm. No bag of prep for us. So if I was to upgrade something right now, it would probably be Deadly Poison. Maybe after image.
back here. Ow. Snake away MVP of this fight question mark. Snekawai is generally MVP in every fight. Because you see, instead of drawing five cards, you draw seven cards. And seven is a lot of cards, it turns out. I could have just killed with Skewer, right? I could have just played the Skewer and Reptimetzer would have died. Too bad. <laughs> Should have used the region pop. Catalyst. 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 For some reason, I'm thinking region pot's important to have in the Act 4 Elite fight, but it doesn't really feel like it is anymore, so I should just drink it. Like next fight. Although I don't have an upgrade anyway, so maybe I'm just gonna rest. I'm just gonna rest. I don't really need to drink it. I like having the energy pot to make sure I never draw on Nightmare Wraith form and have both cost three and have it stop me from being able to do my thing. It's possible that Catalyst was bad to take here, actually. Thinking about it some more. It gets in the way sometimes. I'm gonna try to remove two cards with the stores. So remove card here, get enough gold from two fights, to remove card at the next one as well. I might be slightly short on gold in the end. But card removes are very important and I don't think Noxious Fumes is necessary for this deck. We just played Terror. That branch will give us Noxious Fumes anyway. That's a great point. Say hello to YouTube Jorbs. You can say hi to YouTube Jorbs. You can also reach him by mail at uh, 12345 Real Street, Seattle, Washington, United States of America. <laughs> Sorry to hear that, Rain Derv. Am I ever concerned about YouTube drops copying my content? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, he like is completely unapologetic about it. Steals all of my content. I got 19 gold that fight. Is that right? There are lawsuits pending. The justice system is uh, slow, shall we say.
One London is a complete invalid UK address. Is that true? Who lives there? The queen lives there? Shouldn't the queen have a less, like, obvious address? Just for, like, personal safety or something? I still haven't managed to remember to drink my regen pot. Uh, footwork's fine. Cards okay. I really don't have a lot of cards that scale off it, but it's okay. It's a footwork plus. I'm just gonna rest. And I managed accidentally to keep my regen potion. Almost. Well, oh, also almost. attacked for right now. Six times two, I think. Relatively confident. How are my cats doing? They're okay. They were up late partying and keeping me and Caitlin awake. But now they have gone to sleep. Which is always a little bit infuriating, but they are very cute when they go to sleep, so I don't know. Maybe it's okay. I just nightmare great form, huh? Probably shouldn't have kept these cards because my hand's gonna be full. to sleep but cats said meow. Our cats don't meow at us while we're trying to sleep that often. What we get more of is like we're lying down to go to sleep and then we hear like in the kitchen <laughs> and then we're not lying down to sleep anymore because we have to go see what it is. sort of cool if we could find our after image again. Nice. To turn off brain. I want to play two more attacks. Maybe I should have kept after image to make that easier. And we're done with this fight. Happy flowers even on two. 
Seven turns of intangible. Yeah, I mean, I discarded a Wraith Form plus, you know. Okay. This was the fight that threatened to be the most difficult. Okay, I'm always playing this. the Quaker I think it's two months. I don't want to have to use a potion in this fight, but I can use regen potion if it seems like it's not going great. This is always a multi-attack from Awakened One. Could just Nightmare Footwork, or even Nightmare Dash Plus. I think it's okay to play like this, though. Okay, and maybe a little bit simpler. This is a win. fast enough. Hey, writes how you doing? I've played so many runs of Cylon where I've been in a situation like this but not actually had fast enough damage to win the fight in 12 turns, but this is not one of them. This deck has enough just random things that say deal damage on them. boy can fit so many wreath forms. I think you can mouse over the intangible buff and it will tell you how much it is. Hard is a weak one hitting with 20 strength. It's attacking for either 1 or 1 times 3. That's the lazy answer to your question. Hey, Benji! attack. 
that you don't see the numbers when you mouse over. That's too bad. I'd sort of like to win with this on a different number. So I think I'll wait one more turn. Got a good Sneko luck. Ooh, I have. Well, actually, that's below average. Right? It should average to 1.5, and this averages to above 1.5, I'm pretty sure. Although, having zero cost things is nice, I guess. Maybe it's not as simple as caring only about the average. Yeah, that's only... This is only a very small portion of the luck involved in having a snack away. You also have to consider which cards get the mana costs and on which turns. I'm just going to heal for 10, I think. None of the upgrades are very relevant. Maybe deadly poison, but not really. It did get almost exactly enough gold to grab this extra strike card remove. And I have an Act 4 Elite Fight. We go in with mm, 85 health plus the Lizard Tail. doesn't actually change anything. Nice nunchaku proc. Okay, we didn't get attacked by the shield, which wasn't guaranteed, but... Ah, uh, that doesn't mean this turn we got murdered. This turn is unfortunate. They're both weak, at least. not weak anymore, which means I take a little bit more damage, I think. Oh, come on. <laughs> He's the best. What a great play for me there. Just, uh, hmm. Just flawless execution. Skepticism about the power of the branch when picking it up. Is that what it was? I think I was just doing due diligence to make sure I understood what it would do in this deck and working out if it meant I wanted to be taking cloak and daggers and stuff. I was never really considering not picking it up.
I'm gonna place the last Wraith form. Um, misclick, unfortunately. Just unlucky. I guess I take another Catalyst, and now I can Nightmare Catalyst and win. I don't know. I have so much health, it doesn't really matter. This is a Nightmare on After Image, I believe. Otherwise, it takes too long to get my stuff back. And then we just play the fight with four After Images, and... We should be fine. I'm pretty sure. It's awkward. It's not what I wanted to do with Nightmare. Maybe play Dagger Throw first, just in case. Nightmare on Footwork. Is that better? Probably. I can't fucking play them. What is the point of having them? Yeah, this is a pretty large misfire from my deck, I think. Oh my god, I missed again. Still don't have a Willy plans in play. This fight is going actually as poorly as it is possible for a fight to go with this deck, I think. Stab. Bullet time might be an okay hit. Imagine being able to apply Catalyst here. That would be nice.
I'm being for attacked for I'm being attacked for either three times fifteen. Let's look it up. Get it exactly right. It has two strength. It's either three times fifteen or forty-seven minus weak is thirty-three. So I want to be at one, probably. If it's the thirty-three, can I do that? Four, three, two, one, zero. I don't actually think I can. I think it's lizard tail either way here. Spoiler. I hope you're enjoying those. at 35, 47 minus weak. Yeah, you're right. I was looking at it without the strength. Whoops. I should have just got an apparitions. That would have been nice. potion. Okay, here comes Wraith Form. We can block for enough this turn as well. Need to remove the artifact charges though. Wait, can I block for enough this turn? It's not weak anymore. Yeah, I can. Let's play this. That would have been a really big hit. Not being attacked this turn at all. I play Wraith Form now, I think. Master Pulse Stab. Way to go, Master Pulse Stab. to make that close somehow don't feel like that was really meant to be close they didn't quite manage to lose at least
I don't think I played that fight right. I think I made it look more difficult than it was. I think I could have just not played Nightmare on turn one and just Nightmare to Wraith Form later. Almost sure. I guess I didn't even need to Nightmare Wraith Form though. I don't know. I don't know. It didn't feel like I played that fight right. Maybe Nightmare after Image since it cost two would have been better. 